Hey, this is Chris Powell with Arm Realty. We're down here in Madison for our second house of the day. Uh, this is 910 East East 2nd Street. Um, right here on the rivers, the upriver side of Madison. Um, we'll flip the camera around here and take a look at the neighborhood. This house is currently on the market for $210,000. Um, it's got three, four bedrooms, depending on how what you call a bedroom. Definitely two, then a very small third, or maybe a larger third that you have to walk through, but that's ne neither here or there. But anyway, we'll, we'll flip the camera around and take a look at the neighborhood real quick. So this is the neighborhood on 2nd Street. So this is 2nd Street going into town. So it's about three blocks or so to downtown. Um, definitely within walking distance, but um, I would probably be wore out by the time I got there. Um, this intersection here is the intersection. If you go here and turn left, you'll go directly across the bridge to Kentucky. So um, just that's, we're on the upriver side of Madison. So there's the house there. And then this is Second Street, which goes up. If you keep, if you go up Second Street, it basically comes 56, and then 56 follows up the river. So that's where we're at down here. Um, but it's a really nice, well taken care of, uh, three course brick. Let's try to walk over here to where the sun's not in the way. I really didn't see any major cracks or anything in the brickwork. Uh, the windows have been replaced at some point in its life. I mean, it's just a, it's just a well. It's been a well taken care of, well loved home. Um, just a nice place. So, we'll go ahead and step in here. As soon as you come through the front door, you walk into the living room. In the living room, we've got a, a large, full width brick mantle wall with a wood burning fireplace. Um, it does have the powered vents, or at least it has vents. I'm assuming they're powered to get some of that heat out of that wood stove. Um, windows have been replaced. They are uh, double pane, double hung windows. Lots of wallpaper, lots of wallpaper, just lots of wallpaper. So we walk into the, from the living room, we walk into a dining area. Um, the dining area here does have a uh, they've shoehorned a little half bath into here. So off of the uh, off of this dining room area, there is a little half bath, and it definitely it was shoehorned in there. It's it's not very big. But this is a nice nice dining room area. It's got a bay window. Nice little bay window there. Well, again, more wallpaper. Um, this is the door down to the basement. This is a little sweeper closet. Look at that phone on the wall. You don't see one of those every day. Um, kitchen is fully paneled. If the wallpaper wasn't enough, we got paneling in the kitchen. So, But it's a good sized kitchen, especially for this time frame. Door, drawers are not dovetailed, so you know, they're, they're your standard 60s um, cabinets, nice double sink, looking out to the side yard. There's a little patio area out there we'll check out once we get outside. Um, but, yep. So, through the kitchen, we walk into a little den, sitting area, library, whatever you want to call this. This is an addition to the house, and I'll point this out when we get outside. But this, this section here was an addition from the original house. There's that side door going out to the little patio area. We'll check out here in a minute. Walk back through the kitchen and we'll go check out the upstairs. Big old staircase. This wall has Moved a little bit, but over a hundred years. I mean, that's not a whole lot. Um, more wallpaper. You get to the top of the steps, and there is the bath, the main, the full bath. Got some 
awesome light fixtures in here. Gotta love it. Um, got a paint tub. Tiled background. Handsome real estate agent. Big vanity. Got one bowl in here, but there's room for another. Toilet's just kind of here in the middle. So when you come back out, you can go down the hallway to the front bedroom. So as we go down the hallway here, there's a little bitty teeny weeny bedroom to the left here. This is about as small as a bedroom gets. You could get maybe a twin in here if you're lucky, but it's just a little bedroom. And the front bedroom, I believe is the largest of the, the bedrooms, but this is the front bedroom. Again, more wallpaper. I don't think there is a single room in this house that is not wallpapered, but this is the front bedroom. Even has the old push button switches. Aren't those cool? Gotta love those things. Look at that. Always fun to see all that old stuff. So back down the hallway, there's our steps we just came up and you walk into this room. Now, one might call this a bedroom, but I don't like to call things bedrooms that you have to walk through one room to get to the other room. So even though this does have a closet and an egress window, you have to walk through this room to get to this room, which is, this is over that addition again. I think both of these two rooms are an addition from the original house, but I am not 100% sure. We'll have to, we'll look at that again when we get outside to see. I know ha part, part of this is an addition at some point. And when I say addition, I mean like in the 70s or something that was added on maybe, or 80s. It's an older addition, but an addition nonetheless, but it's got a nice good sized closet in it. You know, for a house this e of this era, there's a, there's a lot, large closet. Okay, so that's everything on the second floor. We'll head back downstairs here again. We'll, we'll stick our head in the basement and then we'll take a look at the outside. So here's the basement. Again, this is all lath construction. So plaster on lath is all the wind, the, the, the walls are gonna be that or they're gonna be um, three course brick. So, but there's a lot of, there's good headroom down here other than the, the heating and air. Um, there's a little shower down here, you know. I don't know why this, there's a toilet down here, because you never know. Um, there's the electric panel. The electric panel has been updated. It has quite a bit of space left in there. Um, okay, so here you can see the transition from the original house to the addition where the rock switches to block. So evidently just one of those um, bedroom or those rooms upstairs are part of the addition. That's why I was curious if it was two of them or one of them. But there's the original foundation, the old stone foundation, and then where it transitions into block and there is a walkout door to go out of the house. So pretty much that's the extent of the basement. We got this. There's another section room here. Huh, <laughs> cool. I don't wonder what the eight was for. Must have re probably recycled this room, this door from somewhere. Um, but this front portion of the basement's more dungeony. The original dungeony basement. You know, nothing, nothing to write home about, kind of thing. Main water line coming in there. So, yep, just an old celery basement. Furnace is newer, 
high efficiency, you know, gas. Water heater looks like it's been replaced and you know, it's newer. I mean, it's definitely been replaced at some point. The house is 100 years old, but definitely newer, you know, newer hot water heater. Um, they've got two dehumidifiers running down here in the basement, so it probably does get kind of damp. You know, but all these old houses, if you, you know, find a dry basement cellar in downtown Madison is good luck with that. So, all right. So that's all the inside. We'll go outside and take a gander around the outside. See if I can find that light switch. We'll go check out the outside. So you can see a seam here. So even this section here with the fireplace was a uh, was an addition at some point in time too you know but i mean still it's by the looks of things it's a much 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 older addition um hard to say 50s maybe 6 or 40 who knows it's old you know it's an old by the looks of it i could be wrong but i would say definitely i don't think it's an original part of the house but definitely an older addition um there's that bay window that's in the uh dining room area there's the outside unit like it says I mean that looks brand new practically so that's definitely been replaced um, here's the back lot nice big backyard a shed back there that got no you know place to hide the lawnmower and stuff but um, and then you can see here's the addition so you can see the transition there's the kitchen the kitchens right inside that window that's the sink kitchen sink and then you can see the transition in the brickwork here um, where this this section of the house here where the roof line changes is an addition um, and that it's probably still you know I don't know 60s 70s 80s but an, an older addition here's the back of the house we'll walk down these steps here the back of the house yeah she's been been sitting here for a long time they just don't build them like they used to um, this retaining wall I mean it's it's leaning and cracked um, but it's not it's not going anywhere but it's definitely leaning and cracked for sure there's that man door that comes out take a gander here at the side of the house again like I said, I, I really didn't see any cracks or anything as far as on the brickwork. Um, I, don't, I can say I don't like how they did these windows. You know, they did replacement windows, but this is all still wood here. So the, 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 sil, the, the base of it is wood, so it's gonna need some maintenance there. I think I would have wrapped those in metal or something to protect them, but Sometimes that's not the greatest thing because then the wood just right rots behind the metal and you never get to see it. Um, but anyway, um, there's some tuck point work. Just spooked a rabbit. Man, it's really good. I mean, it definitely need some tuck point work there. Wow, that's crazy. I don't know what caused that to do. Just that one little section there seems to have just eroding away. Huh, that's very interesting. Nothing, nothing a good mason can't handle there, but not a very big area. It's only a few, maybe four bricks total, but just weird how that, that, that literally is just powdered. Huh. Anyway, um, something to add to the list of things to do to this one, but it's got a, it's got a nice little list of should get dones, but anyway. Yeah, this is Chris Powell with Arm Realty. Um, if you have any questions about this house or any house in southeastern Indiana or anywhere in the country for that matter, just give us a call. My cell phone number is 812-290-1403. Again, that was 812-290-1403. Or you can check us out at armrealty.com. 
Um, if you're looking for property in the Madison area, check out Madison Dream Home on Facebook. Um, there's also Batesville Greensburg Dream Home and Lawrenceburg Dream Home. Um, and between the three of those, we cover most of the, well, I mean, pretty much all of the new listings in southeastern Indiana. So anyway, let us know what we can do for you. Thanks.